Hello everybody out there in the music and battle community. This is Micro Soldier 777. It's time for another edition of Time for a big edition of The Mail! That's right, time for The Mail. The Mail! That's right, time That's for That's right, folks. Another this is another edition of The Mail. And this uh, edition of the mail was brought to you by uh, Greg Hazegur Music. Ordered a uh, few items from uh, from uh, his company uh, to help give some support. And I think there's a combination of, of two orders, so let's get right to it. So what we have here is Petra, the Capture and Thomas Space reissue in the mail. And as you may know, Petra's one of my favorite bands. So let's crack this open and have a quick look what's inside there. And there you have it with all the stuff inside and a CD and DVD combo and with the booklet so it's all good. Then we have been waiting for this one a long time because this got left of a, of a previous order, order from Greg but uh, this is Blood Good Metal Mysteries uh, CD and I uh, got this on vinyl too as well from a previous order. That's kind of cool to have that and Blood Good is one of my favorite bands as well, really good band. Hope Michael Bloodgood is, is recovering from his stroke he had. Uh, all of our thoughts and prayers goes out to him as well. Got the cool collector's card, which is really nice. There you have it. And it's got the insert there. Oops, got the insert there. My other place that tray might be a bit of a crack there, but here's the insert in back there. Cool, kind of like the black and the red uh, stripes here, kind of like the stripey on black stripes. Kind of cool. So there you have it. Here we have uh, Resurrection Band, Wayne Your Pie. Really cool, really awesome debut from a uh, great band. Res Band is one of my favorite bands, by the way. They're a really great band. band. Uh, they're one of the first bands I got to back in 1985. Uh, a lot of Petra, Res, Striper, and Jerusalem. And then your band. There you have it. Here you go with the collector's card, which is really cool. And uh, here is the inside there, you know, the glory in the back. This is a really cool debut from one of my favorite bands. Here we have Salon with Dying to Live. Really, really cool to get this one. This is a great album, by the way. I had the original version wasn't selling out because. Uh, I think this might be a better version inside of the lyric sheet because, as we know, uh, this is from a rigid press by uh, Boone's Overstock. Y'all know Greg of Boone's Overstock. Just let you know their um, their song "Welcome to Despair" is a 10 or 11 minute song. It kind of reminds me of Bon Jovi "Dry County." Got the same sort of dark, moody feel, feel to the band uh, to the song. Yeah, so there you have it. And I got this all shagged up here. There you go. And it's got the lyrics there. I'll show you inside there. So here's the lyrics there. Here you go. That's kind of cool. There you go. Much better than the original. Much better. There you go. Kind of cool. Now it didn't come with a clutches card. Looking forward to giving this a listen. Uh, yeah, I did later. And here's the inside there. There you have it. Really cool. Really nice uh, layout there for that CD. There you go. And then we have uh, Raz Band, Rainbow's Inn. Now, I find this CD hard to get into. 
uh, Rainbow Zan. It's not my favorite CD, but it does have some memorable moments. Maybe I'll give this another chance, another listen. Um, I, I, if I were to pick their top albums from the early days, the first three albums, I would probably pick uh, the debut and, and Colors over this one if I were to pick the best two of the first three. But like I said, a lot of people like this album as well, so there you have it. Here you have the collector's card with Stu Heist with his awesome double neck guitar. Things are really cool. Here's the inside there. There you have it. That's pretty cool. And here we have the controversial reissues from Striper. And we all know the drama that was created online. And yes, I will support Gerda Music. I have no problems or issues with that. It's not my it's not my responsibility. Uh, to if the band don't get direct funding from any out, uh, uh, outsourcing reissues, it's not my issue. There you have it, kind of cool with the uh, cool reissue Got it layout. Got the cool uh, inside, pretty much same as the original. Kind of cool. There you have it. Here we have Reborn. The first uh, full album it has in the kitchen since they had a comeback. I like that back there. That's kind of cool. I get better back than original. Here we have the. Here you go. Go clutch this car with the reborn. Thing going on there. There you have it. And it's got the back and front there. I don't know if this one would have the lyrics or not. I'm not sure. It might. And do have a lyrics. Yes. Awesome. The original didn't have the lyrics. It was kind of cool. Really glad to see the lyrics there. That's kind of cool. Which is kind of cool. I don't know if I like the, uh, the like the gold and the and the black here, uh, or like the original version better. I'm not sure. Uh, you know, way the original seeds were done. It's kind of hard to decide. I think they're both nice. What's your thoughts on the issue? Post your comments below. Let me know what you think of the. If you like the gold and the black uh, on the gold editions, or do you like the original way the way it was done originally? Let me know down below in the comments. I'm kind of partial to either one. I like it when uh, you have two or three different colors uh, that contrast. Uh, you know, like the gold and the black or whatever. Here's the uh, covering with the card there. Kind of cool. And the, the, the CD face. Of course, it's gold with that, and of course, uh, I guess the way it, uh, I guess they would probably have a similar layout to the to the original. So, oh, this is a fold out, kind of like a comic. There you have it. See, kind of cool. Yeah, I'm gonna compare this to the original. I think we'll probably do pretty much the same anyway. And then we have some records. We have, so here is uh, the band Chris and Lilligren from uh, Narnia, that's Melodic Passion, and I went through this record, and I thought it was a pretty cool record, I liked it, I liked it, so I figured why not buy it, 
Now I'm trying to figure out, let's do the jeans trick. Don't work for me. Scott Wars must have a magic touch with. He's a gatefold. It might be a gatefold. I'm not sure if it's a gatefold or not. It might be. It is. Yep, so it's a pretty good album. Here you have it with all the pictures. Oh, it's cool. All oh, pictures of the band. Oh, this is a cool collage. That's pretty awesome. And uh, keep that uh, hype sticker. He's all my hype stickers, by the way. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All different pictures and everything there. I don't have this on CD yet. Look at the CD eventually. And uh, here's the thing with all the liner notes. Kind of cool. Uh, it kind of shows the history of the band and the lyrics. It's kind of really cool. It's on black vinyl, yeah. So it's kind of nice, uh, nice uh, layout there. So look forward to getting that a spin. Gotta keep this short. Now here's an album I never thought that I would, uh, I never thought that I would buy. Little Miss came out some other Uh When I had the original, I wasn't totally keen on it, but after hearing the original or parts of the original. I must find it. I must say this is a album is a drastic improvement to the original. Um, really nice layout. I don't know what's. I don't know why you like the first, the original version, but this is a really nice layout to the, to the really nice well, and well done. Uh, you know. So give me one second now. Get this on the go here. To, to cause any damage. Here's the. The layered sheet, the uh, insert with the vinyl. There you have it. It's done by Retroactive Records. And the second one from Retroactive Records. That one, Retroactive Records. That one and the uh, and the uh, Salon one there. There you have Can Tamplin with Tamplin. There you have it. This is a classic album from Can Tamplin. One of my favorite ones from him. So. I just had to get these, being me being a abused Cantanflin fan. And here we have the... Here we have the lyrics. Here's the back. And here is the... Big used picture of Cantanflin. Kind of cool. And the insert. And the lyrics. That's kind of cool. So we're looking forward to give that one a spin. Here we have the in the witness box. I like that one as good as uh, Tampon, but still some great songs. Here's a cool version of um, of um, Stevie Wonder, Sign Seal Deliver. For those of you who like that Motown type of uh, vibe it's a kind of like some of those Motown type style of vibe to it so so here's the here is the record and the insert there kind of cool some greater music so it was a custom set ring which is pretty cool but with the black and the white, kind of cool. Show you quickly the insert. The vinyls are black for these, by the way. There's the inserts, kind of nice, pretty cool. And here is another one from Leviticus, I Shall Conquer. I held off on getting these because I didn't know if I liked it, liked it as, as much, but when I first had a cassette back in 80, 86, I think it was, when I had a cassette, I wasn't totally into Leviticus and I didn't. Uh, sort of didn't grow much on me and I had uh, I think it was um, the latest one uh, back in 89 uh, which name escaped me right now Knights of Heaven I think it's called the latest one in 89 
I had that one taped off, but I had this one on cassette. Now I got this, the, all the reissued CDs on, on Gerber on CD. There you have it. And let's see what color the CD is, the, the vinyl. So the color of my vinyl is kind of a wine color, kind of matches the, the, album, the artwork. It's just kind of cool and matches. That's pretty cool, I like that. Sort of a wine color or a, like a, a wine color or a burning color, kind of cool. That's really cool. And here we have Leviticus. I find Leviticus to get better and better with, with each album. This is called, uh, the one that I show was uh, I Shall Coverage Me. No, it's called uh, Surround's Power. So it's kind of cool. Find your lean short, don't need what you nail. Kind of hurts your finger a bit. I want to tear up the stuff what's inside. I have to use my, my knife gently. Sometimes a knife don't quite work. There you go. Here you have Leviticus, the inside there. Oh, put that over here. Image. There you have it. The insert there. The lyrics. And the color of this vinyl is a nice blue. Oh, wow. Net cool. Kind of matches the artwork. Yeah, it's really cool. I must have looked out in the game because these are going to be a random, a random vinyl. So this is kind of like kind of nice matches the artwork. It's kind of cool. Oh, here's the back of by the way. It was pretty came in 85, and I should probably come in 84. That's really cool. I like that. That's really awesome. So, this is really cool to get these on vinyl finally. I'm gonna put these in sleeve inserts too, by the way. Like the inserts there, put these in for the outer sleeve. I'll get that all straight out later on. And then we have one of my favorite bands, the Res Band. Here we go. My favorite ultimate bands. If I were to pick a top uh, 20 bands or 10 bands, Res would definitely be up there as one of the top bands of all time. I love the Res Band. They were one of the first bands guns back in 85. Never tired of them. Here you go. Here you go. They didn't really get into the Res Band um, solo stuff or the Glenn Carter Band stuff. I love the Res Band. And this final is on their champagne color. There you have it. I don't know if I like that color, but anyway, whatever. You can take what you can get hay by. That is pretty cool. Then we have, I'm going to show these in order, I guess. Then we have Hostage, which uh, was, was this, the first of two albums that introduced me for Red's Band, that one the bootleg. Hostage is a great album. I never hear Red's in a vinyl. Let's get long, better hurry up. So here is Hostage. Here's the back of it there and the front. And this is on sort of nice blue, kind of matches the, the, the album, kind of cool. And here's the artwork. Now Glory. There you have it with Glenn and his wife there. Awesome. I'm really looking forward to this order. This is a huge order. And last we have Bootleg. There you have it, one of my favorite live albums with Glenn and Cosmo in the back. There you have it. 
Yeah, that one a slight opening. That's why I don't do openings on, on uh, camera. You just like to have it open first and opened. But uh, the figure I show you, this opening up, just came made a few minutes ago uh, as I've shown this. This is now uh, uh, around supper time, my time, and uh, here's the album cover. There you have it. Uh, on uh, Thursday, my time. And of course, here's the artwork. There you have it. And on most of these uh, reissues, the uh, Scott Waters did live and Rab Cole done remastering. Um, everything except for the Can Tamplin. I think they, Scott, Scott Waters is doing a Can Tamplin. Uh, and that's where we Rob Cole did the mastering on the Can, on the can Tamplin ones. And the Silo one, I'm not sure. It, I should have a look and see who did the artwork. One second, huh? Uh, see if they outsource who they outsource for the layout because the net that the Christian Lilith Grand one's original issue. So, yep, uh, Scott Waters did the solo one and Rob Cowell done a remastering on the on the, on the solo one. That's pretty cool. Yep, pretty, pretty cool. Anyway, folks, that's my major vinyl haul. Which came from Girder Music, and most of it was uh, reissued by Girder Music, except for the um, except for the Siloam and the Deliverance, which was retroactive, and that Christian Lilligren one was a Rizzle pressing. So there you have it. So thanks to Girder Music and Boone's Overstock, Matt Hunt, and Greg Hayes for making all this possible. And I hope you enjoyed this little. Um, uh, or the big haul I had and post comments below and like and subscribe. You guys have a great day. God bless.